Introducing New Age Sandwich Slices. It sure tastes like cheese. With a lot less cholesterol. Welcome to the La Book Show. Tonight's episode is episode number 54 for the 14th of June 2017. Wow, that feels a little loud in my ears. I'm going to put that down a little bit more. Right. <laughs> Hi, I'm your host, Stuart Edwards. With me, as always, is the ever bold one, Luke Pitt. Why? Why would you do that? Because you are. Because you are. The ever long haired one, Robert Davis. Hello. And the very bearded one, Thomas Busby. Hello. That's a beard. <laughs> like, that's, like, that's, a, that's a big hello. beard. Good beard. Hello. hello. That hello. is an awesome beard, mate. Yeah, hello. I'm growing it for you. <laughs> it's a Jewish dwarf. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm growing it for um, <laughs> oh, beard is your schmutz, you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dwarf in August. Well, actually, that's not the reason I'm doing it, but... Yeah, it is. I figured. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. I, I don't yeah. the, the fake beard that I have to wear and the fake. So I want to grow it myself. Yeah, every time I go out, I got to wear a fake beard. But yeah, it's, it's, how, it's, just, it's just who you are, this Jerry. That's what it is. Oh, yeah, I know. No, it's just. You know, it's famous. <laughs> well, I feel out of it because everyone else is wearing glasses. Should I go and put mine on? If you really I want to. I, I just, I just want to be part of the clan. I just want, I just want to feel loved. That's what it is. Actually, I've got. Um, I, I bought ve- varifocals. Have you ever had Rob? Rob, I don't have you ever had very? Very no, very no, 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 no. Shut up! Oh, we just laugh. What, what are we talking about glasses for? Because you started it. Um, ve- oh, yes. <laughs> you know, varifocals. The first time I've ever worn varifocals. Oh my god, they're strange to wear. First off, they are very, very. These ones. When I started to look through them, okay. Anybody knows that I'm around about five foot six. I'm not exactly a tall fellow, right? I felt. Like I was about seven feet tall because of like the convexness or whatever it is of the glasses, right? In fact, I had to try several times to step off the curb. <laughs> <laughs> I kid you not. I literally I mean, was doing the whole, the whole foot thing. Where's it? There's the curb. There we go. The normal was... person would just do this and step off the curb. But yeah. Ed, no, no, Stu doesn't do that. Take off your glasses and do Tom, it. I'm really surprised you had to say normal and then Stuart in the same That's sentence. Yeah. Why would you do and that? They're not two words. You two, you're here together at all. Don't categorise him with normal. Yeah. No, I mean, good God. I mean, no. <laughs> what? No, stop it. Stop it now. Take you yeah. and your beard and stop those comments. <laughs> I mean. No, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll just not talk for the rest of the podcast. <laughs> no, you can't do that now. Don't go no, off and stop. No, 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 do that now. We'll come yeah, round. Yeah, yeah. We will. We will come round. Eventually, um, <laughs> <laughs> after a cup of tea or two. Yeah. So, so to, uh, to tonight, we're not going to really sort of do our kind of normal show. Um, we have got guests lined up to actually come on and what have you, but we thought, you know, we haven't sort of just the four of us kind of had a chat about things. So, one of the things that we did want to talk about tonight is about characters that don't want to say a lot. Um, you know, kind of the the I am a ninja, uh, and therefore I'm going to stand in the corner. That's me in the corner. Also known as the anime lead character. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I might have it. just annoyed many, many people out there. And, 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 yeah. I think you're gonna have to explain yourself there, Tom. <laughs> okay, so. In Japan, anime, you know, you you know, is like yeah. uh, Japanese cartoons, basically Asian. Oh, I know anime. <laughs> um, and a lot of anime and games and Japanese games and stuff have a ca- very one-dimensional ca- main character that is broody. Yeah, doesn't say much, and it's just constantly like, my life is depressing. Basically, angel stuff and sa- yeah, yeah. But I must save the world. Basically, you know, the angel. Yeah. And the problem right. is they, they sit in or stand in the corner of the room with, with a blooming cape and a big hood on, and they don't want to say anything. And then when you try and engage them, they just go, you know, uh, and uh, as I said earlier, they say things like, you, you, you don't want to mess with me, you wouldn't like me when I'm angry. And I, and I often want to say, well, I don't like you now, so, you know, don't start anymore. 
because I was going to pick a fight. I'll probably yeah. lose as well <laughs> and end up apologizing. But this is going to kick off right now, yeah. you know? And I give yeah. them the bit, the old cross-eyed look as well, you know, you give them the old... <laughs> yeah. um, because, I, I mean, I, I don't know, or the person who gives you the one-word answer, you know? Oh. Yeah. Are you here to trade? Yes. Which is which is why Luke loves role-playing with me. Oh, honestly. <laughs> But you, uh, I'm sure the only reason you do that because you know how much it annoys Luke. Well, well, yeah. I mean, you know, when he when he comes up to me and he goes, um, "So, um, have you been at this at this village? You know, in this village long?" Yep. <laughs> yeah. So, or if you if you say to them, "So, are you interested in trading?" Yep. Might be. Yep. Yeah. And there's that there's that long pause, and he will just keep on kind of just just staring at you and and you lose the whole conversation every <laughs> impetus is completely gone yeah. all, all i'm saying is if you're gonna come in all windswept and interesting with your hair flapping in the wind and everything you know and showing off your beard you, you know you have to know what your character is going to be otherwise you're going to stand in the corner for the whole night and no one's going to talk to you now Stu and i know how that feels and we don't have to yeah. be role-playing nope. so realistically <laughs> you know when you think about it, if you're there to converse, if your character wants to progress, isn't it worth you at least? I mean, some of the best assassins I've known are people you didn't know were assassins. They don't right. look it, they don't act like it. Yeah. That they're, they're just all of yep. a sudden you're in the room, and you're going, That's a dagger. Where are you gonna put oh right, yep. okay. How many hit points did I just take? And and those are the best. But yep. dressing up like a ninja and then asking the ref every time someone tries to engage you whether they can see you, then is something that's just gonna annoy me, you know? Okay. And I'm thinking that we should at least air this because it's been a problem for me. Well, I Stuart's do. been quite a problem for me for a very long time. Oh, it's been a problem for everyone. But yeah. uh... <laughs> <laughs> But uh, I... go on, Tom. Yeah, I'd before, before, before you start, before. would you all say hello to uh, Eva in the chat? Hello, uh, Eva, Eva in the chat. Hello, Eva. Which which hello. chat is 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 this it's Twitch? Twitch. It's Twitch. It's Twitch. It's hello, it's hello, it's Eva. Actress. Hi, Eva. Yes, actress. Yes. <laughs> yes. Are we allowed to say actress now? Because I thought it's actor. Everyone's an actor. Oh, I say oh, actress. Actor. Actress. <laughs> actress. Actress. I say actress. Yeah. But, the, uh, there we go. Let's do. Let's uh, let's actress twenty seven. Let's let's start a poll uh, in, yeah. in 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 Twitch and 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 in uh, in YouTube or more Twitch at the moment. Uh, yeah. What do you think it should be um, for for females and males alike, actor and actress, or just actor? Oh. Actor. Go for it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's a difference in LARP. We're all in. <laughs> so, but um, but yeah, it'd be interesting to know what uh, voices Actress Twenty Seven does because we're all looking for intros, aren't we? Interesting yes. intros from people. Yeah. So if you please. can do a really good Darth Vader, you're in. <laughs> I mean, all I'm saying is, you know, mm, just keep I it can, real. I can. I can. Female Darth Vader. Well, you I can. can do, I can do a great Darth Vader. <laughs> Luke, I am your father. Oh God! Let's, very let's well not start that again. <laughs> well, it was a very well she Darth Vader. Hello. How, how are you doing, Luke? How is your hand? <laughs> I'm more like fans love. Her. Actually, this, this is probably a little bit more real because haven't they aged a little bit as well? And haven't yeah. they aged? Luke Skywalker coming on. All right, love. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'll be honest hand, with you. I lost my locks quite a while ago. <laughs> And, uh, and by the way, Luke, I love the beard now. It looks fantastic. Oh, thanks, <laughs> darling. It means uh -oh. quite a lot now. It's the only thing I can grow. <laughs> yeah, I think we've got Jamie in the chat, too. We go once again to get off. we got Jamie in the chat. Hello, Jamie. How are you? Hello, Hello Jamie. Things? There you go. Oh. I really should have some... Solid... I have a similar issue with vampires. Uh, I ain't getting anywhere near my... <laughs> It would be much more effective for a player who is a vampire to dress as something completely different, perhaps a little <laughs> fake tan. A little fake tan. Oh, I, I love I, that. I think, yes. I think, Jamie, the next time you see one, you've got to say that and you go, look, Angel, I'm loving where you're at, but fake tan. Fake why tan. You, do yeah. you want me to rub it in for you and see how quickly it takes for them to try and kill your character? <laughs> <laughs> they won't bite you. They'll just kill you outright. Have you seen now that they've now invented a pill that you can take to get a fake tan. What? I That's kid you not. Correct. What colour is it? I don't know. 
<laughs> it apparently, it apparently, now. It apparently if it's a blue pill, they could be selling you something completely different. <laughs> <tonight. laughs> well, the conversations you, well, are a lot harder to start. If they you know are, they me. are a lot harder to start. <laughs> the um, um, yeah, apparently there's, there's a pill. There's a pill you can take now. You know, get get a tan. Okay. Wow! Did so you think you the colours? So that would be even better. Jamie, all you've got to do is get a selection of pills and go, well, one of them's a fake tan. Um, <laughs> just try an orange one now in about an hour. If you haven't turned tango, well, then we'll try the blue one. Can you, can you imagine if they did a Donald Trump one? That would be brilliant. Oh, right? God. You know. <laughs> yeah, there's orange and then there's Donald Trump. Lumpa, lumpa, lumpa dee doo <laughs> this is not this is not carrying on the conversation is it about larping um yeah, because well, we need we need to put this right we need to put actually, this right on, we need where to put is this the lump lump lump? Where is the lump lump lump? Lump? it's uh, one of those banned larps because of too offensive because <laughs> it's crap that's why it's banned too offensive to don donald trump apparently um oh. the uh, uh it's been banned, guys, banned guys, by president all the clock you get oh there is yeah that's a good point yeah. Oompa well, Loompa Land, a lot of chocolate. Yeah. Just just can we get back to this or what? Yes, love can, it. This idea love you it. asked, I, I came out with something and now we're going, we're on to Oompa Loompas. How did we get on to Oompa Loompas? Uh, I, Donald I, Trump and being orange. I but find just I find just usually cock my leg over, but that's just me. Oh, well, the, oh. Uh, oh. How long did, uh, did everyone get? We got a sweet steak on how long did it take you to change something to sex? I think to, uh, Thomas had five minutes, so yeah, uh, Tom, you get the cash prize, mate. <laughs> <laughs> of nothing yeah mm. okay so so yeah okay the, the 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 dude in the corner pretending to be assassin vampire uh broody anime character um yeah. type thing uh it doesn't work sorry folks no. you're no. not going to get much out of the game unless you are an npc whose yeah. job it is to stand in the corner look broody like an anime main character right yeah but if you're a player at a game, being the assassin, <laughs> yeah, and looking exactly for. like one, right? Yeah. yeah no, stop it. No. I mean, stop it. it doesn't work. And I, t I want to tell you the other one that I get is the guy that comes armed to the teeth, whose first phrase is, "I just want to talk." <laughs> yeah. No, no, you don't. Yeah. All right. Or you wouldn't be armed to the teeth, now, would you? Or do <laughs> you talk it. differently to everyone else? And they come. They've got they... weapons. They've got swords. They've got knives. It takes them four hours to actually take everything off. Yeah. And they're suddenly going, "Yes, I'm a very peaceful person." Like it's there for the. It's just there for their protection only, Luke. That's all it is. Okay? Yeah. It's just for personal use. Personal exactly. protection. You know, <laughs> personal protection. But the great thing about knives. that is, is they're normally yeah. not wearing much armor because that distracts <clears> from putting weapons on. You know, so. That their armor is weapons. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Or they've got like maybe one tiny piece of leather, you yeah, know, around the crotch area. That's all I wear. You know. Uh, so we're here. Uh, we don't want to fight. We we want to talk. No, no. no Make love, no, not no. war. No. Although I have to say, one of the best conversationists I I came across was at the Mayfest, where someone was dressed up as a kender. A um, a kender. Oh, a kender. A kender. Now, kenders, for those people who don't know, are highly, highly annoying characters. They're like almost, they're quite small, gnomish kind of like, but they, they are just interested in everything. And they've got the attention span of a gnat. And they just, they just, uh, and they'll talk about anything and everything simultaneously. But they're highly annoying and they've got very high voices. Yeah. Um, and, and this one just came in. And I don't think I've laughed as hard because you've got this complete polar opposite. You've got the ninja in the corner who's suddenly going, just leave me alone. Just leave me alone and fuck off. Just leave me alone. Um, and then you've got the, the really serious character who just couldn't cope with him, who only wanted to talk plot. And then you've got the likes of me and Stuart who were just drunk in the corner. So then again, you sound really good. <laughs> and then you've got the other people with proper beards yeah. who, were, who, who were spreading the word of love. And then you've got such a different... It, they stood out so much they kind of fitted in if you see what i mean it was just this this kind of this whole eclectic group of people <laughs> who just couldn't talk to each other for for a hell of high water and the refs did nothing yeah. to try and and you know kind of make it a little bit more 
a, a little easier, a little free, more free flowing. They put totally the wrong characters together who were never going to be able to talk. They were never going to be able to assimilate. The plot couldn't move forward yeah, yeah. because everyone's character was so, so kind of distant yeah. that they couldn't do it. And then you put a Kender in and that was like putting a grenade in the room. Yeah. Um, much needed, I have to say, because I don't think I've laughed so hard. Yeah. And I don't think I actually w more willingly put a fiver on how long is it going to take for this Kender to die into the kitty <laughs> uh, aptly called as jamie will tell you because he calls all of his party kitties tittles um and we actually put all this money in and, and i lost and i was devastated and that's what i took away from the whole weekend i understand yeah. i understand so anybody in the chat right now is there any sort of characters or character types that you really hate put them in the chat <laughs> right? yeah really and and and, and yeah. we'll 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 chat about them if we know what they are we'll chat about them and 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 say whether or not we really bloody hate them as well we probably do do you guys remember my character twink oh i hated him i mean uh... <laughs> uh i think you might it was, it's the first character i ever played at uh balrog okay. and basically yeah. still exists but he's kind of inside my dwarf soul wise um oh, okay and he's based off a Kenda, annoying, because yeah. uh, Kendas don't feel fear, do they? No, they don't. No, they don't feel fear. No, no it's 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 it's, it's, it's oh you know, look at that! What does this do? What does that do? Ooh, look at this! Oh, they don't even realise ah. they do it. Yeah, that was basically what my character was. Yeah. After larping him from one event, I said, "I can't do it. It's too hard." Yeah, too it hard is very it. difficult. It's Keep it's. It up. Um, to you, that level. you have to you have to have almost a level of Tourette's yeah. to actually to mm. actually do that that character yeah, or, yeah, yeah. or be able to uh, spout complete and utter bollocks for yeah. game after game after game. Yeah, you, hence, you like... hence why we started a podcast but <laughs> yeah. welcome to Kendalarp. um i tell you the the only one that i found Kendra, the podcast i hadn't started was uh was cliffhanger the hanger the bard who would sing everything yes um, uh... and that was uh, the may fest i never did it once because i died pretty quickly and that was when we were all in a big ditch and there were orcs everywhere and i just i thought i've got to do this now because my character would do it i went christ i hope they don't see us we're screwed if they do and and basically everyone within the group just went oh <laughs> no. yeah i mean let's be um... honest you'd be you'd be slotting him just to shut him up so <laughs> yeah yeah Oh, but yeah. I suppose that we, you know these kind of characters. There is there is a kind of m movement and, and room for all yeah. these kind of characters. I think I think uh, all refs have to be very aware, however, mm -hmm. that they can take the plot in a completely different direction if we don't manage them. Yeah, and and I think that yeah. they, they, they kind of you have to be very very careful, don't you? That you know, I suppose it, it's a good thing, isn't it, that, that a lot of refs they they decide tell us your character, tell us how you're going to fit in, so you get more out of it if that's the character you want to play. Um, yeah, but, but more important uh, side but, of the the other characters. Yeah, but okay, do, I mean, don't, don't forget, like I'm, I'm going to play the the devil's advocate side of things now. Well, that's right? not cool, it's, isn't it? Though um, <laughs> the you know the sheer fact that, that a lot of the characters, a lot of people that you see playing those tooled up assassin type characters it's usually their first ever larp yeah okay they have no idea how to interact with the world they just like tell you what i'm just gonna dress like a ninja number one because i've always wanted to dress like a ninja and uh, it's cool and, yep. it's cool, and it's cool uh and number two i'm not comfortable right now because I don't know anybody really. I know probably one or two people in this group. They've dragged me along to it mm. and what have you. So they do want to just stay in the background a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Have you hit on a thing here? Because if, it, if it's your first time at LARP, the LARP's got like a whole hit. And it's, a new, it's not a new LARP. It's an old one. Mm. So it's got a whole mythology. It's got a whole history of campaign or history of games. It's got a whole mythology and a mythos, a whole world and a whole world point of view. And you've trotted along and you've not been able to remember any of it at all. I never read it anyway. Yeah, <laughs> that that can be tough. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, yeah, no, I know what you mean. Uh, I think um, that that's very important, though, isn't it? Because if you, if you if you're gonna, I mean, the one thing I've learned is that is you kind of do have to read the background. Yeah, you have to know what it is you're going into because you yeah. can play a lot of really annoying characters that actually do fit. Uh, but then with Stuart, what you have to do is wait until he arrives and then sit there and go, just go and kill everything over there <laughs> and everyone over here. And, and and just go over there and start over there. Um, and, oh, you know. Well, usually, usually, what 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 is what is done with me is go go over there and say this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
uh, I don't yeah. tweak what you say. <laughs> when you are the when you are then questioned about it, say this. Uh, and, and that's generally how, how the refs normally deal with me at last. And if they go off script, hit them. Yeah. Well, if they, if, you know, two hits. if they if you, you know if, if they go off script, go like oh, I'm got a clue on about mate. <laughs> yeah. But don't you don't you think I mean we talk about um like kind of bar in character conversations. What about um communic he's gone. He's he's gone. He's just stopped. Back he's up. Back up back he's gone. Come back That's come. confidence that is. That is. Um but what I suppose I was also talking about was was what happens when you uh, you meet monsters. I mean, we are always seeing monsters, and then we just go straight in for the kill. That's what we do. Yeah. Um, there's never any dialogue with them. There's never never anyone who talks to them. And I do remember there was a char- there was a, a set of uh, new role players, and they decided that rather than going and fighting the orcs, they would actually kind of uh, get them a beer. Um, and the ref wasn't there at the time. So we all sat there and went, rather than a fight, do you fancy a beer? And, and the guy was so shocked, he went, all right then. And so we sat down, and we all had a beer, and then the ref came back and he went, what are you doing? And he went, we're having a beer. We thought we didn't really want to fight, so we're, yeah. we're having a drink. Well, actually, that's and, fine for me, for me, Luke. <laughs> and I love that. you could see the ref going, why? Why are yeah. you doing this to me? What what is wrong with you? You know, <laughs> but he was so used to them just going. Well, I'll send you two orcs. You just kill them, and then I'll yeah. send you something else, and you'll kill that. Yeah. That he was he wasn't really expecting anyone to use a bit of common sense and go. Well, why are we fighting? <laughs> yeah, you know? I, mean, I mean, why are we fighting? Make love, not war. Yeah, yeah. make love, not war. Which is something that can get you banned from many events. I shouldn't do what, it because like you're role playing at that point. No, making love and not war because not everyone well, wants that. Yeah, yeah, that, that, yeah, that, yeah, that's say, yeah. Tip, I'm just going to throw this someone out here, but if you take your pants down in the middle of a battle, people yeah. will notice. They yeah. usually do with me. No one's uh, noticing. You know. <laughs> the, um... <laughs> just imagine your gnome. I don't want to fight anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Eyes up, missus. What colour's my beard? And <laughs> <laughs> I see the cuffs match the curtains. There we yeah, go. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> the, um, uh, it's see, the... we shouldn't be saying this because if Jamie is listening and he's running the next event, <laughs> he's going to sit there and go, I will not note to self. Don't note ever let. Never, never leave if them alone. If he starts to take his trousers down, never he'll leave them alone. Yeah. Yeah. And... <laughs> I tell you what, as well. I, I mean, the, the 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 different the different character types. Okay, there's 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 so many different character types. It's, it's ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. anything you can think of, you know, people will be. But they do, you know, generally stereotypically go into the Holy Trinity, don't they? They go into yeah. the Holy Trinity of the tank, the healer, or the damage. Right. I yeah. mean, that's that's pretty much it. And uh, it's very rare to come across characters that 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 kind of meld a few. I mean. Well, unless Rob, Rob's, ah, Rob's, that's, that's, Rob's that's having like, a fit, jumbling because that's not that's not that's like so that's like MMORPGing if you want to do that. Well, I mean, you can see well, why they though. do it because Larpin was supposedly loosely based on D and D, wasn't it? Wasn't yeah. it? Uh, that's, it's yeah. origins, isn't it? Uh, but, well, that's another my pack grumble. There's too much D and D left over in Larp. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, <laughs> it makes sense though. Logically, it makes sense to have a. Who doesn't? <laughs> And then someone to heal, and then someone to do damage. That just logic. Oh, don't logic get me started on healing. Oh, I'm sorry, Robbie. Are you oh, here wait. for the five minute argument or ten? Ten. <laughs> <laughs> don't get me started on magic or healing. That's another of my pet peeves. Just answer the question. Well, come you've on, only then. Like, five. You know, you know. Let's <laughs> let let's go for it. Okay, Robert. Pet peeve. Magic. Go. Magic's great. I just I just. That's hate not a peeve. peeve. No, hang on a second. <laughs> You're fine. new to arguing, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Here's my argument. Magic's great. I love uh, it. But I hate the whole fighty, fighty, fighty. Oh, God, I'm injured, I'm injured, I'm injured. Magically heal. Oh, great, more fighty, fighty, fighty. No, injured, suffer. Suffering's good. Magically healing, I, bad. <laughs> I agree with Rob there. I agree with Rob. Suffering's good. I, I only ever, um, I've never done a big lap, you know, the big, gatherings and stuff yeah, yeah, and i hear yeah. that's very prominent there where you're in the yeah. front line you go oh, oh and then somehow you're down to zero points but you somehow stagger backwards towards the healers who go yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> you do yeah. that's exactly what you do it's, <laughs> it's, ama- it's amazing how when your one leg is almost severed off you can hop 
back mm. to the healer. Um, Forget know. about the agonizing pain, pain. and the huge loss. Ooh, of ow, yeah. I've got my leg in my arm. Ooh, ow. Get yeah. him back. Get him back to the healer, who then just lays hands on and goes, by the power of so and so and so and so, I heal you. Back in. Right, you bastard. Come having you. You know? Yeah, I, um, I totally yeah. agree with that. I don't like that because yeah. it starts becoming role playing and then it starts becoming gaming. Yeah, you know, it, yeah it, that, that, that's another PC game and not role playing. Yes, yes. <laughs> basically, it becomes kind of like a spawn point, uh, most efficient way. How can it, you know? Basically, just just get these people. It's like yeah. a factory, basically. The healers yeah, wait, have a cup yeah. of tea, yeah. wait for someone to go down. They they <laughs> oh, do you think? Then, <laughs> I mean, based yeah. on that, though, Thomas. I mean, um, when when you think about it, the, the gathering itself has uh, don't they have um, um, time th throughout the weekend where you can't die, your character can't die. Yeah. Oh, and there's it, a yeah. part to me that kind of disagrees with this because I think that generally if you were to play your character properly as like a paladin or as an assassin or as a, a one have you, if you're, if you're going to go polar opposite to good to bad, completely evil, really, really good, there's, there's, a, there's a grave likelihood you're going to die. Yeah, yeah. And, okay. and the problem is that you know I, I think that we we cling on to our characters too oh, much. Yeah. I, I do yeah. genuinely feel this. So uh, some of the main <laughs> well, characters won't go anywhere unless they've got good. Well, good. well, yeah. M most most people do. I know Luke yeah. and I don't. Um, <laughs> well, yeah, I'm really sorry. I'm going to pop out a sec. I'll be back in two minutes. Please keep arguing. I will yeah. do. Yeah, you know, Luke and so you guys don't have a character <laughs> long enough unless it's a character you don't want. <laughs> And then it lasts for centuries. I know. Well, yeah, and, and that that's something I've had. Actually, where you sat there going, I'm never going to survive the entire Sil weekend. Silent, Silent Bob. Survive. Silent Bob is technically yeah. still alive. It's been about 20 <laughs> years. Yeah, 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 that's true. And and Throw really, away. when you think about it, what was it you and I with the tarantulas um, when we had those? And the, yeah. um, you know, and we were um, we were with the, uh, oh, I forgot what they called the uh, drag. That's right. and, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know and, and we were we we're on the on the gate uh we're doing guard duty and then um lord satoon came with his his arm he's got a false he's got a false arm flow like latex arm with the rose on it and we were told don't let anyone in with any weapons just don't let anyone in and the conversation we had was was just i don't know how we survived no because this guy came let me pass we went sorry mate can't come in with any weapons yeah and he went, sorry, i haven't mate. got any weapons i went what's that arm then <laughs> yeah you know and he said, you can't touch this arm or lay down on the floor. Then there won't be a problem. No one's going to touch it, are they? And it's amazing how London you get whenever you actually become a guard. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, and we sat there for nearly it, 20 minutes. Yeah. Excuse me, mate. We were told no arms. Uh, no you arms. Know, um, can't bring any arms in, mate. Can't bring arms. Um, and, we, and we just sat there and we just spoke to him. And, and actually, he did come back after we said, thank you for doing that, because he said it's the most fun. Like the orc with the feather. Do you remember that when oh, we said that we've got a massive loved, secret that we needed? And I every time we talked to this feather was getting in my hair, you know, because I had hair at the time. And, and so I'd be cut. Do you mind if we're, have, you got, have, you got your, have you got your boss there? You know, yeah. and. And in that kind of that interaction, I think, yeah, is, yeah, you know, yeah, you didn't yeah. know what they were doing, but you really do have to want to engage and really go into it. And I think this is where some of and, these characters who want to be, you know, kind and of fair play, fair, and, and, and fair play to that orc. He kept yeah. a straight face the yeah, entire the time, right, until <laughs> after we'd finished. And then he just well, he almost peed himself <laughs> right on the spot because yeah. he was laughing yeah. so hard, you know. Yeah. But um, but that's that's what that's, that's what Luke and I tend to do. At, at, at any role playing event, if you if if you if you need someone to come along to disrupt whatever it is you think is going on, right? <laughs> Particularly uh, good at that. Give us a call because Rob, we, didn't we do some uh, drunkards at the oh. last um, event that you and I went to? Oh, the, the drunken monks were the drunken monks. Wonderful. And we've, and we've done the old guard as well. We were just picked a fight with practically everyone. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know. And, and I think the thing is, uh, no matter what, you can actually bring these characters down, but I think there's, there's a richness that you can actually bring to it. As long as it's managed, I, I think that it, it yeah. needs to be, you know, kind of managed. It needs to be quick yeah. fire. It needs to be that light respite between moving the story on and, 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 you know. And I think that a lot of people tend to think that, well, you know, let have, everyone have a good time. And, you know, kind of if, if we don't finish the story, then so be it. But I think that there, you can have polar opposites with a uh, lot of role players. And I think the really serious ones who want to go there and talk and get involved in the plot and want to don't get as much out of it because they see us pissing about. Um, and they, th they think that we're just disrupting. We're not. All we're trying to do is just bring the story on. 
but I think there needs to be that management of it. I do, yeah. I do at least concede that you need to manage it so that you can sit there and go, right, just cause chaos and then get out. Yeah. You know, and it is the grenade that you kind of need. And I like those characters. I, I think that you well, know, it's 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 the it's the cause chaos, leave the tidbit of information that mm-hmm. they need, and then bug out. Right? Yeah. I mean, that's yeah. that's basically what what we excel at. Let's yeah. be honest. It is mm-hmm. it is it is an excel at that we do. You know, because we're meat packers. <laughs> it's also <laughs> every day of the week. It's also something that... Except Friday. Don't do Friday. Don't do Friday. Don't do Friday. No. It's important. Because when you do stuff like that, it's mm. a wild card. Yeah. Yeah. No yeah, one's no, expecting no. it. And, no. the, and some people may not like that because they no. don't know how to react to it, which no. make, make them on the defensive. It, it, yeah, yeah. It can't be... They have to be open to unexpected things. But isn't, yeah. but isn't, yeah, that, is, isn't that literally the crux of live action role play is it is to take you out of your comfort area your yeah, yeah. you know where yeah. you where you yeah. normally are right yeah, but, and yeah. and and th- that's what okay. we try and do we, we we try and present situations that make people take a step back and go like what the fudge <laughs> but have, having said that I, I mean i see where thomas is going is that as, as new role players need to be kind of guided through that kind of thing otherwise they could get mortally offended and think they're not they're not getting what what they want out of it mm. and i think that, that like you say the whole point of role play is to become something that you aren't normally you know to, and, and i think the the more diverse that you go I, I love to play all characters i don't just like to play the stereotypical fighter the healer the monk the you know kind of the vampire whatever i like to play everything you know i like yeah. to have a crack at everything because I think that if you if you just go for that one character, because that's all the armor that you've got, the only dress that you have is a pirate. So it's either a vampire pirate or it's a kind of like a zombie pirate or something. Yeah. Like, but it's always pirate led. I think you miss a trick because yeah. there's so much more to to be had. And oh, yeah. we did that with monstering, didn't we? That we do monstering because we suddenly found there was a niche that kind of suited what we wanted and what we wanted out of it mm. that would actually fit in with the whole of the, you know, kind of the, 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 the scenario as well. And I'm, I'm, I'm up for that. A lot of people don't like monstering. Whereas yeah, I love well, having the shit. Yeah. Well, we, we all, you know, we always do the monstering slash NPC, don't we? You know, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, oh yeah. It's, it's either, either the, the driver of a plot and then later on, chuck on a mask and beat the shit out of people and get beaten the shit out. Do you know, I'm going. I'm going to say something like because Thomas probably doesn't actually remember this, but okay. our first fight, our first fight, and I, I, I we were fighting, and I went in, and I sat there when you hit like a girl, and he just looked at me right with that little face that he's got right now, and he sat there and went, "Sorry, did I hit you too hard?" <laughs> yeah. And and I had to encourage him. I said, "No, you need to hit me a little bit harder. Yeah. There's, there's more of me to love." Yeah, um, yeah. And you know, kind of. But that that was the whole point of it. I I, I like the, the real combat, but I dare to say there's a lot of people who get very concerned about that. It's just like the conversation. I see that the same kind of thing with conversation is some people yeah. are quite naturally very very shy. Yeah. So they go to LARPing to come out of themselves a little bit, but still have those conservative mm. reservations mm. that they've got in real life. So if to all of a sudden become this extrovert that they've never been ever, it's going to be very, very hard. <laughs> yeah, or, yeah. or come face to face with the, with an extrovert. You know? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Can, I, and I can see the danger there, but isn't that? I mean, I think isn't this conversation steering towards the fact that when you when you have quite a, a wide eclectic kind of grouping of people, that you yeah. do need to manage it, and then conversations can flow. They can be guided. You can have the yeah. comedy. You can have the series. You can have the fight scenes. You can have the the you know kind of the congress, the conferences, um, and I think everything everyone gets something out of it. Um, but it's got to be well led. Yeah. Of course it does. I mean, yeah. like, I, I think that's like key. you know, like, like, like everything. As as, as long as there's a, a direction, a focus, mm-hmm. then yeah. you know, you, you you can you can drive it forward towards that. But sure. you know, mm-hmm. uh, I mean, Jamie said in the chat because obviously yeah. he helps run Twilight Realms with yeah. this. Yeah, and uh, he says people want different things from a lot. Mm-hmm. They do. Same thing. Some people just want combat. Some people want story. Some people want puzzles. Some people just want to drink. You know, mm-hmm. it's it's and it's a, it's mm-hmm. trying to find that right balance so everyone gets something out of it, mm-hmm. um, which is the difficulty with yeah. um, with a very yeah. very yeah. Laugh, yeah quite difficult 
difficult, I imagine. Small well, ones. Well, 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 no, well, no. With with a with a very big LARP, you also have the 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 third or fourth or fifth option, which is ogling the pretty girls. Um, yeah, but that's creepy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't what about see the pretty guys, huh? What about I, the pretty guys? Let's not be sad. Yeah. You know, I, I, yes, Julie. Yeah, you are a man as well. I, I, I actually do. If I, right. as, we just don't everything. As, as, mm. as you know, Luke, I, you know, there's many times where I've gone like, look at the cans on him. You know, because, <laughs> yes. you know, when, yeah. I, when I see a good fit body, male or female, I have to comment. It's, it's, it's a little bit of a Tourette's with me, you know. Yeah. yeah, your filter says don't say anything. Don't say anything. Nice ass on him. Yeah. <laughs> on him, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, well, the, well, the, I mean, the, I... the guy that came up to the gate that was, you know, uh, freaking Herculean. That I yeah. f- that that I checked for, checked for <laughs> weapons. <laughs> um, you know, I I, r- I rubbed my hands <laughs> all over his body, and it was a good body too. I'll be yeah, honest, yeah. you know. Um, and Just then think... and then I kept his. Well, anyway, and said uh, concealed weapon. <laughs> yeah, he you took know. that very well, considering he did. Uh, he no, did. No. I really thought he was going to punch me in the face, but he didn't. Yeah. You know, but I, I think you know, like like I say, I mean, Jamie's right in what he's saying that you know this balance is is really hard. Yeah. And I think you know what I would always try and do, I suppose, is to try and find find those key characters that you know kind of maybe could steer a conversation without the ref yeah. being there, could steer a conversation, or could you know kind of balance and harness the enthusiasm of maybe people like us, um, or you know <laughs> kind of guide you know a conversation or, or give that nugget of information. I think that's where LARPing can be very diverse. But I yeah. think what we also need to understand is that conversation does need to happen. Yes. That we're, we're okay. always looking for the fight, but realistically, doesn't there have to be that backdrop, that storyline to, to move it on so that you create the scenario so people can make decisions. Yeah. And then that decision then leads on to something yeah. else. And I think that's key. Um, and with the larger groups, I mean, I, I mean, I love the gathering only because I, I remember a lot of the very big battles that you go to and you sit there and you go, holy cow, there's mm. 3,000 people in front of you and they all seem to be staring at you. And I was amazed by that. But you were never part of the plot. Yeah. You were just never part of it. So we had to make our own fun, which is why I was very, very happy, you know, kind of about the the, the in-character bars. It gave you a, at a kind of a localised level in amongst your faction to, yeah, yeah. to be able to role play, which, of course, when they decided that they were going to kind of get rid of that politically for whatever reason, right or wrong, um, you know, that kind of took away. And I, I, I could see what they were trying to do. Well, let's have one bar. Everyone goes to that one. Yeah. And, I, and I can totally see that. Um but I think people then missed the fact that they could go to different bars and they could go and have a different conversation or cause some other trouble somewhere else or there would be different scenarios. You can't do everything in the one bar and not everyone could be fighting. Actually, that's um, a fair point. <coughs> Look, we haven't actually done the gathering for a long time, so let's speak to somebody we know who does the gathering a lot or law and trust. Yeah, it's little... changed. How, what, how many bars are there now? And I, yeah. and I and I know Jamie's on a thirty-second delay, but let's see if he gets it back. Get yeah. an answer back. So to us. we're going to just wait now. <laughs> no pressure, Johnny. Time well, freeze. You know. Uh, okay. Well, while we're waiting, then you know. That's, uh... <laughs> Actually. <laughs> okay. Here's another one. Then, yeah. What if you go into a game? Yeah. Okay. And Stuart's experienced this, and he's going to have views on it. Yeah. Where there is no combat. There, and there is only conversation. I like it. Yep. I think. Um, I think those Twilight Realms, um, kind of like Cthulhu ones, were more that they were. They were. They I were. Mean, they were it was very good combat, and by combat, I mean you die. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and I yeah. really enjoyed them. I really missed them. Actually, I kind of. Kind yeah, of but Tom, don't to... don't you find though that there's a, there's this kind of happy and I think that if you've got a really good story, you don't need to fight. No, no, because no. the whole point of it is that, yeah. you know, you are trying to talk your way out of things. You may not even have weapons. So if you're going to pick a fight with anyone, that's going to be really bad. And these people are very strong or they're monsters and you're never going to win. So you yeah. have to use your wits. Do you remember how I said one of the, the best lots, and I'd love to do this, is Go to on. have everyone and have 40 people all as jailers and orcs and have two people whose sole job is to try and live through the whole weekend. Yeah, so you I remember start that. off yeah, being yeah. in jail and then you have to try and get out. And you could spend the entire weekend in a jail if you really wanted Ooh. to, or you I know. could try and escape, and then you've got to survive that weekend. I tell you what, we, I tell you where we're good to run that. Go on, um, uh, Bravo One. 
Yeah, well, yeah, 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 definitely. And and the thing is, you've then got to use your wits. All you've got yeah. is what you have around you. Now that you could, you know, put things and place things there. You could make things available for people if you thought they earned it. Um, but I agree. I, I like with Tom that I, I suppose as as I've aged, I'm looking for different things because mm. you know, I'm a bit bigger now. So running around is going to be a tad difficult for me. I have to have fag breaks and kind of like you know factor them into the the running through the field kind of thing. Um, but I don't get as much out of the combat as I used to. It, it's too yeah. quick. People don't take the hits. It just yeah. gets frustrating. And you remember, Kez used to find that at, at the, the gathering. He used to find the fighting was so vast and the, the rest were running around like blue ass flies trying to deal with it all. Yeah. yeah. And then, something and then everyone will go i can't believe you missed that where have you been well yeah. dealing with the other fifteen thousand things yeah. that are going on you moron yeah, um yeah, yeah. so it, and, and that was unfair on both sides i think so um i kind of like the conversation i like the cheeky bit i like the thing that we did with the tarantulas by looking at the matron mothers in the eye because we knew we shouldn't you know it was that kind of stuff that i thought that realistically made um, more Weekend, yeah, more memories for me. I'm not yeah. sure, Rob. I'm not sure if you were there at this one. It was an it was an old Fear of the Dark game that was uh, purely set in a courtroom. What? By the way, Jamie has answered. He said there's yeah. only one main bar that I'm aware of at the gathering. That's a shame. But, I yeah, mean, you know, what's the, it like? I mean, is it that, any good? That, that, that is a shame. That that is a shame, and, and and purely because as you as you say, different. You know. Uh, big events, different thing to different people. Some it is just a drinking mm. event, right? And all they want to do is sit in the bar, uh, get drunk, talk to mates, uh, you know, have a good time. Yeah. And then if there's plot going on around them, if there's you know in character plot, they're like, oh, why don't you like just piss off? Because all I want to, you know, <laughs> all I want to yeah. do is 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 have my cider, grab my my, my pig in a bun later mm. on, right? Yeah, and then yeah, come yeah. back and have more cider, uh, yeah. type thing, you know. Jamie so, said that he thinks there were regulations that ended up ending the other bars, so that uh, must have been something that stopped that. Yeah, but it was, I, can, I, mean, I can understand that. Was, yeah, that. Yeah. I, I, mm. I can understand that, right? I can understand what, why, why they kind of done it for um, either, right? You know, you don't know what's being pushed out by the other bars. You know, yeah, it, could be, yeah, yeah, yeah. it could be, it could be the, you know, the, the, the 25-year-old scrumpy that will kill everybody, yeah. right? Um, or, or what you do is you, you make sure that that company puts in separate bars not just mm. the one bar but three other bars yeah, yeah, yeah. you know in, I, think, I, I, in think I, I think it probably was regulatory you know you don't know what's being served people I, people at one point were serving home brew of unknown quality and safety oh well yeah. that, that was a shadow of a doubt uh, yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I, and of course if, if anybody is exchanging cash i've completely breached licensing laws in the uk yeah, yeah. totally but so, uh, I, I suppose really when you think about it it wasn't necessarily although it, it kind of was the booze at, at some point but it was actually the place so what would happen was yeah. the um the the, the group uh the, the faction would create a bar and really to be honest with you the bar itself was very secondary it was the way they set it Agreed. up where they decorated yeah. it the kind of setting yeah, they, it was, they placed on it and then was it the, the, bears, the beer happened to be was it the bears that had where the bears had an amazing tavern set up Oh yeah, right. yeah, with with you know old style <clears throat> wooden benches and stuff and tables. Mm. Um, they had an old styly blooming you know menu thing going on. Uh, myself and 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 Dawn, God rest her soul. You know, we actually went to that bar with me as as Silent Bob, um, but you know, pretending to be a, a, a deaf mute and got free drink because the uh, the barmaids felt sorry for me. Yeah. <laughs> You know, yeah, no, no, that's good. It's a good weekend. No, no, I, I, think a, I think a good game with multiple bars is a good thing. But it places to talk in different ways. I mean, it's, you know, any reasonable size town or gathering of people, there's going to be more than one watching hole. Yeah. yeah. Well, and, and the theme is to, to start the conversation. I think the, the problem is 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 where you've got like quite a few bars where potentially lots could happen. Well, you just haven't got enough refs that could be. Yeah part of the story that they could then monitor that and then then take that story for you know further as as it needs to be i could also see that as a bit of a logistical nightmare um so i can see from a planning point of view that could be really hard although I, i'm kind of torn between wanting that conversation and thinking well actually the gathering to many people is just a, a kind of get together almost it, it's secondary to laughing you know yeah, very much just a gathering of in a mind. I think a lot of people see it as that way as a gathering, yeah. just to see mates that you see once a year, have a yeah, drink, yeah, yeah. catch up. Yeah. <clears throat> I 
think a lot of people view it as that. Yeah. But I mean, that's a shame, but it's also, it is what it is, you know, yeah, and if you're yeah. going to have 5,000 people, yeah. you know, start to get together, I think there's, there's, there's got to be some kind of end battle. There's got to be some kind of story. I think the simpler, the better. Um, then just let them, you know, let the people play. Um, and I mean, I remember times when half of the conversations were absolutely surreal. I still remember that conversation with the ninjas who tried to come into your faction to install air conditioning. Brilliant. And, and yeah. they and they were all refs. They were all yeah. refs, and they, and they would yeah. just literally come right up to you in, a, in a, an absolute line and go, "We here fit air conditioning. Your boss coming. Come in, make tea. Fit air conditioning." All they wanted to do was just to disrupt and cause trouble. Yeah. Yeah. See yeah. how far they could get. But you you would have all of those. What about the farmer that I was going to make? And I was going to literally sell manure to everyone with a massive sign over my head going, "Let's talk yeah. shit." <laughs> you know. <laughs> And, and I'm thinking, well, you know, those are the, the narcoleptic assassins, you know. You were, like, you, were just... you, you know, you were even a wanted man at one point with a bounty on your head. Yeah, uh, a bounty literally, on my head. literally a bounty bar on was on his head. You know. Yeah, there's a photograph somewhere of that. Don't don't mess with me, mate. Oh, I've got a bounty on my head. Bounty on my head. And we had a picture of our wife. We were all Australian farmers, weren't we? Do you remember yeah, that? Yeah, we had yeah. a picture of a huge sheep. Yeah. Going, You're looking at my missus. And that's <laughs> what we're doing. It's just, you know, I'm very dangerous. I've got a bounty on my head. And then they just, you could see the faces going. They'd look up and they'd see the chocolate bar and go, oh, for f- why? <laughs> why would you do that? Um, but yeah. I mean, how we never got killed on ever, no. But it was good conversation, and, and we think... tried. It's not like we didn't try, <laughs> Luke. We didn't did we? Try. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's... yeah. But it was good. I, I missed that kind of thing, and it's the one thing I loved about LARPing um, yeah. was this ability to be able to, you know, kind of go to to both extremes to to kind of help with the plot, but also to really engage with people and, yeah. and move the story along and see where it went. See, I don't like winning every scenario as well. I, I don't want to win. No. And that's what I loved about Cthulhu stories was that half oh. the time it ended and uh, and, and, and you, you very, very badly. You, if you survived, well, that was good. And that was the best outcome that you could have. Um, <laughs> yeah. If you died early, you know, well, realistically, that was probably okay and better for you because that's less pain. Yeah, um, yeah. You know, and, and and you know, kind of, and the psychological element in between was just <clears throat> murder. You know, yeah. um, and I, I, I'm like, I'm like you. I don't see a LARP event as something you can win, and I don't really no. see it as something you can lose. No. I see it as no. a story. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah, what's yeah. going to flow yeah. through. Character. This is what's happening. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. an experience. You lose the event. It just happens and how it happens is the way it is and that's yeah. how it's like you know um, in your story how it's and whatever your outcome is that's your outcome really. yeah 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 and, and that, um, whatever happens next is whatever flows from that you can see an awful lot of um uh, uh you know kind of uh, people who organize those now listening to this stabbing their screens um and suddenly go no no don't don't ruin well, my story people who do <laughs> look at larp events and yeah as a win and then that's perfectly fine. Yeah. If they want to do it that way, yeah, then yeah. that's fine. Yeah. But it's not the way I look at it. Yeah, you, you yeah. They, they just want an episode of the bloody A team. That's the problem, you know. Yeah. But don't you remember with the uh, that D and D kind of thing where you see you see monsters, you kill them. Yeah. You know, you go into that dungeon, you've got to pick every lock, you know. Yeah. And, and I used to have a DM that you go, well, you pick the lock, and then then you realise after five minutes it was already open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he used to roll as well that if you pick the lock and the door was already open and you hadn't asked, you locked the door. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And yeah, then yeah. you have to spend time going, you know. Um, and and he was brilliant like that because he he would force you to really think about things. That, that's what um, you want. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, and absolutely. Laughing. Because it's the same in laughing. You know, in D and D, you come across a monster, kill it, XP. Mm. Yeah, and it's yeah. the same in LARPing. Oh, there's yeah. a monster there, or there's some bandits, or people who are heavily armoured in front of you. Oh, we got to kill them. They're going to fight us. No, they could just be a simple patrol, just going around, just put there. You would just say, hey, how you doing? What's that? And they'll, they'll mm. let you through. But some people don't work that way. They see right. something, they go, oh, the refs must have put this there for an obstacle for us to kill or get through. And so, yeah, yeah. So, in a, so in other words, what, yeah. what, you know, what you're kind of doing is, is this. Yeah, what's that? There's someone prowling around here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> a p- yeah. perfect example was um, at the Twilight Realms. Uh, yeah. I don't last one, but the one before, where uh, we were traveling, um, you know, cross country to another area. Um, I think it was the one where we had to assassinate the emperor. Oh, no, the emperor's brother, younger brother or older brother. Yeah, don't get that wrong because you could really yeah, screw yeah. the story up. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, up. don't worry. They can do that. <laughs> um, 
But essentially, what they did, they put NPCs in front of us. Uh, there was an NPCs um, in a load of uh, in a ring fighting monsters, and they were slave. And we could have, and they said you could have gone to them, tried to free the monsters, and they would have joined you, or you could have done something else. We ignored them. Uh, we went up onto the road um, where there were these um, Helvetians beating some civilians. Um, that they were saying they were mages. Could have gone in, helped the mages es escape. They would have come join us. We ignored them. Um, and essentially, it, 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 they were put there. I mean, you didn't have to kill them. Fortunately, with the party there, they, they're a bit more experienced knowing that you don't have to kill everything that yes. you approach. Um, but they were put there as in kind of like, well, what do you want to do? There is no one outcome here. No. There are multiple outcomes. Yeah, mm -hmm. Technically, we could have tried to bought, buy the mages or the, the monsters. Mm -hmm. Um, we didn't because we were very wary about the land we were in, and, and it was more of a safety thing more than anything. Uh, yeah, for that, I mean, everyone was too scared. Yeah. <laughs> well, in all fairness, don't start a fight. You, might, you live in longer. All, <laughs> in all fairness, for my character, I did <clears throat> just come out of a portal fighting demons, and there's this giant whistle demon chasing me. So I was a bit paranoid of a lot of things. How does that work? Whistle demons? They're chasing me. Essentially, <laughs> <Did he work? laughs> pretty much. It's this giant demon that has a whistle, and you can hear it miles. It's terrifying. Oh it's right, okay. Terrifying. So it's more sound. right, okay, right, yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah, it's not like a, you know, like a casual walk in. No, it's literally a <laughs> whistle that you hear, and it skips. Yeah. Hello. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I like that and, and i think that was kind of proved what you've just said there thomas was really yeah. proven in the mayfest when we decided we we're going to talk to the orcs as opposed to fight yeah. them yeah um, and and in fact actually it just it brought in this new dimension to the fact that the refs were kind of really pleased that we decided to engage someone rather than just kill you know yeah. jamie said he said i personally always get more out of smaller games a yeah. fest gives a completely different experience, but you can also get away with pretty much anything at a larger event. That's absolutely true. <laughs> I mean, we've caused absolute mayhem, and no one gave a shit. I have no, I, I have really... no idea what you mean. We didn't get, we didn't get away with nothing. <laughs> no, we did. We got away with quite a lot. But smaller games, I suppose, when there's only twenty of you, well, you know, everything that everyone does has significance, uh, yeah. and you know, and, and people dying therefore. I think this is, is where I think a lot of um, organisers make mistakes. I think if you've got smaller groups, people should die. People yeah, need yeah. Because then all of a sudden you yeah. get this, we haven't got we've, the fighter anymore. Like, we've, Where's dis the we've, we've discussed this in, <laughs> you know, in the past, that it is important. It is yeah. almost yeah. essential yeah, that, that, you know, a significant character. This is why things like Game of Thrones and what have you work. Oh, Brilliant, because yeah. this character that's been there for absolutely ages suddenly just gets shot through the head with an arrow. You know what I mean? Mm. It's it's, it's, like, it's it's like oh oh crap. Uh, <laughs> if there's ooh. no danger, if there's no threat to your character, you you there's just no fear. There's no tension. Yeah. There's, you don't have to no. think about what you're doing. You could just walk into an orc camp, flick someone on the nose, and go, and then Done you that. know. By the way, yeah, yeah, right. he's got to stop doing that because it's funny, but it's dangerous if you're yeah. around. Him. And yeah. and like you said, it's it's vitally important that that's something yeah, yeah. like that. I mean, we, again, with the Twilight, because that's the one I mainly do. Twilight Realms. We mm. have Warren. I think he changes character every time because he always dies. Yeah, you know? always. <laughs> that's that's a good character, isn't it? Cause... He's brilliant, but he plays yeah. characters that have no combat whatsoever yeah. it's more thinking it's more yeah, yeah, you know, like yeah. uh, see and it's brilliant and i to be honest it's made me want to create a character like that no fighting no healing no, yeah. Yeah. Just if i remember yeah. i had an amazing food fight with warren simpkins um and and he's got a cheeky little side to him um yeah you have to you have to spark but once you do yeah watch it yeah, yeah, because yeah. Warren's one of those kind of people that if you sit there and go, give it your best shot, he will. Yeah. He'll usually get the better of you. And and yeah. I always remember we we're having this food and I got him an absolute corker with this this one. We were playing waiters. And all of a sudden, you know, you'd find, you know, kind of cake in your face or something like that. And he waited for the entire friggin' weekend. And then on the last morning just got me an absolute doozy. <laughs> and 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 the fact is he'd planned it. You know, he planned it, and it was it was awesome. You you couldn't yeah. fault the guy. Revenge, revenge, my friend, is a dish best served mm. cold. 
Yeah. Well, in fact, I disagree with that because his was quite warm. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, <tasty. laughs> yeah. but it was brilliant. And, and I love that. I, do, I love being, you know, kind of maybe yeah, um, the, the, the one that everyone wants to get. I, I, don't, yeah. I don't mind being that character, yeah. you know, cause yeah. I, and I don't Good. take it as an offense. If you're going to kill me, just do it well. You know, um, that, that's what I want. Um, but I, I, I think the conversation it has, it's, it's got to be really good. And, you know, and I think the, the great thing is you, as you start to do more, I mean, you'll go from Twilight Realms, you may do. I've always said I would love to go back to the gathering just to experience it again mm. um, and go back. And, you know, uh, as much as I'd love to do Balrog and I'd love to do them all. I think it's just yeah. all money that kind of stops you, doesn't it? Money and time, um, money and time. Money and time, yeah. Um, yeah. But if, if uh, it is one of those things, I think you need to you need to go and experience an awful lot of LARP. You need to go and see those different systems and, and see how they do. And I've learned so much from just sitting and watching other people and how they do things. Oh, and yeah. And, you know, some of those little one-liners that you get are just yeah. awesome. You know, so brilliant. has has anybody in the chat actually come up with any, any more stereotypes that they hate? Oh, yeah. Um actress said she hates zombies both player and yeah the uh, real ones real ones yeah, yeah. <laughs> the real ones. <laughs> I'm, sorry, I'm, I'm not keen on them either you know i think it's probably because the zombies tend to be one dimensional yeah, yeah. yeah. well the, the, okay they're yeah. zombies so um yeah. unless of course you're going to do an intelligent zombie you, 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 you could zombie. get away with that i zombie yeah you know I zombie you, you could get away with that i mean i feel that people you know we're going back to play as you know the moon yeah. one the thing i feel that newer players as you guys have said would tend to go towards those stereotypes because yeah. mm -hmm. they haven't got their ground foot in it they know that yeah. from uh, mm -hmm. popular culture or yeah or games or whatever so they find something that they know they kind of go with it and go okay i'll stick with this but as hopefully this is what will happen as laps go on and you get more confident you start to branch out you start to you know like doing things here and there you know maybe even change a compact character completely <clears throat> to something else or add in like personality changes or something to that character um i think it's it, it it's okay as a first starter to use a stereotype but just don't be afraid to you know experiment with it to you know Mm. Come out of the come out of the box. Come out of the box. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, come okay. out of the box. Tell the classes. Throw them away. Do something. I'm just trying to get away with this. Just got to read something for you. This one. I think it's geared towards you, Stewie. Okay. Uh, a, I okay. hate the stereo a stereotype of podcasters sitting there in front of their green screen with their massive comical mic. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know who you're talking there, about. Jamie, uh, that is a massive. I mean, oh, I think if anything, Jamie's saying you're kind of compensating for something. It's <laughs> not. It's not actually that big. It's just further away. Uh huh. But the, yeah, yeah. the the green screen is there, so you don't see all the shit behind me. <laughs> We're all happy for you to see the shit behind us. Yeah. yeah. All right. Oh yeah. I mean, yeah, look, yeah. Thomas has even got bloody cushions with. Bad writing on them. He's Incredibly actually incredibly poor grammar. He, he's actually made his bed. You know. No, I haven't. Haven't you? No. Oh, right, okay, then. oh there you go. Well, then that's good. You, do, you, you, do you kind of ruffle it up? What we don't see is the pristineness of it beforehand, and he has to come in and ruffle it all yeah. up to make himself <laughs> look a bit more winter like, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> ruffle up a, a few a few things. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah thanks, uh, Jamie. Yeah. Thanks for that. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's right. <laughs> So anyway, uh, this episode not being sponsored by LARPIN <laughs> <laughs> or Twilight Round. Or oh, yeah. Twilight Round. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know we love you really. <laughs> 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 we only we you know we, we we only love liz let's be honest it's not really jamie you know. well someone's gonna hold the camera <laughs> <laughs> did, did he say someone's gotta hold the camera yeah <laughs> oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm waiting for that note to come over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, Jesus! What? What the hell were we talking about? I can't remember. I have no that. idea. It was probably really important as well. Yeah, probably, probably not. Brilliant. Probably not. Anybody else got anything yeah. to talk about? 
anybody in the chat room, we'll talk about anything. You 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 give it to us. We'll wait the thirty seconds. No problem. You know, we'll we'll, <laughs> we'll talk about any old crap. You just you yeah. just pass it over we, and you know we'll we'll basically talk about it. Yeah. Actually, um, go on. Yeah. How curious, good. How do people feel when players get not just evil but super evil? Oh God. Explain, <laughs> explain super evil, Robert. Because as you know, that I sounds am, like super gay, doesn't I, it? I, I, <laughs> I, 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 super evil. I, as, as, <laughs> as anybody, as anybody that knows me knows, I have no real filter. So no, I know um, you don't. Um, That's good. Okay. So if there is going to be super evil, you know, okay. when anybody is designing a, a game, for instance, that needs to yeah. take it to another level of perverted or sickness. Right, I'm usually the last phone call after they've been through everybody to get to that level of right. I've I've, I've gotten to a level now. I need to take it further, Stu. Can you help? Yes, okay. yes, of course yeah. I can. Yeah, I, I, I'll actually for, for anybody out there, Stu's done this a good many times, and he offers a free consulting service on yeah, yeah. how twisted can I make your idea? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Not a problem. You always, you always give them the first one for free, don't you, Stu? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but um, you know, just 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 to let you know. It will be particularly sick and twisted, um, <laughs> because. But here's a good. Uh, so you just. So here's a good to laugh, designers. You got. Do you have to? Do the players have to be good? No. No, because Tom experienced this recently. I did. Yes. Yes. So, I mean, when you think about Explain. it, people can Explain. play evil, but they're very, very poor at playing like things like paladins that yeah. are super yeah. good. Yeah. Um, yeah. And when you think about it, evil's more natural for a lot of people because there's always a dark side. Okay. Well, everyone, isn't there? Yeah. Well, how How about this then? We had a couple of characters in the game Tom was crewing recently. Yeah. Okay. They, they like making people slaves. Right. So, okay. So like, like level one evil. Yeah. 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 We've all been there. Yeah. We've all done that. That's fair yeah. enough. Yeah. Most, you know, at, at least three of us here are married. So. Yeah. yeah. So we're all slaves. <laughs> We understand that, and okay. So then they, they, they these characters from an, a, a different place. So we say, just go with the concept of um, what I think God again, where you hit something. S N M. A pinata. Pinata. Oh, pinata. 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 I, I love how Luke went to S N M. Well done, lad. Well done. S N M. Oh come on, you were thinking it. Bondage. Um, bondage. I was going for. Oh, I love go. first aid. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> So, okay, that's so, okay. So they they took one of their slaves, um, Tom. Yeah. Forced forced him to eat. Was, it, it was it was cash, wasn't it? Yeah, it was coins, coins. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, in large quantities. Did you jingle? He did. <laughs> then strung him up against a tree. Yeah. And then motivated the other players to try to hit the stones out of him using swords and axes. Yeah. Okay. Um. Well, that's not evil. That's just fun. That's yeah. it. No, that's evil. That's evil. That's <laughs> that's Did you feel picked on though, Tom? Did huh? you feel vulnerable? Did I feel vulnerable? Well, I was yeah. tied to a tree, and they were hitting me with sticks. <laughs> well, that's an average day for us in Cumbran and Roost. But yeah, uh, I mean, I'm wondering where the role play comes in. Yeah. Because <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't see that as 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 evil. I just, I just see that as as creative more than anything else yeah yeah no oh, i see that as evil that's i evil. think that's pretty evil that it's not so much that the people that organized it but the pa the party of characters that allowed it to go on right you know, and were willing to hit this innocent person you yeah. know because yeah. they're because they, as themselves they don't see themselves as evil they some of them just went oh i don't care some of yeah. them there were supposedly good characters there and there was only one character that stood in front of my thing to stop the constant hitting you know at that point it was too late i was a yeah. goner what, what but, was interesting was how the peer pressure of a few people in the party yeah. just players who put just characters that claim to be working for the good of something into something that would be willing as a group to torture someone yeah it was it was crazy and I feel that there should be consequences to those actions. Oh, no, there were. Oh, were they? I wasn't there for the rest of the... So I didn't know. Oh, no, no, they, they had some... It was written into the game afterwards that the, those characters... That was, that was like their start. That was part of their big mistake, shall we say. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But yeah, they've had some... Those characters have now had some massive consequences lev leveled on them. Good, because there needs it for something kind of like that. It's pretty, you know. 
But don't, don't you think that? Um, I mean, just... when you think of people getting again taken away, do you remember the gathering where that poor woman was taken away in character, or so yeah. she thought, to yeah. be held captive? Yeah, and then and then all of a sudden came back and had, had made accusations that you know inappropriate things had happened as well. Um, yeah. and, and that was that was devastating to the you know kind of scenario and and, and what happened because of course you know it's, people have gone too far so you know when you think about it if things happen to you and it's controlled that's that's got to but it's got to be consensual I mean I always think you know when you think of the um, the European arts that we've been you know yeah. looking at and talking about how they from a psychological point of view they will push you as far as you're prepared to go yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever you want to do is game they're there oh. I agree with Fair, Fair of the Manor. We had this whole very long briefing role play mm -hmm. workshopping session where you could understand how far things could go. Um and they made how, parameters. How to, but, how to, but how to get out of them as well. Mm -hmm. There were always there were always everything that could happen, there was always an exit that any yeah. a, a technique, any player could invoke and say, I'm out of here. Yeah. And I, I like that enormously. Push it as hard as you like when somebody says I'm out. That's right. Well, I think that's that's the thing. I mean, it's like when you when you're fighting. I mean, I don't mind a good fight. You yeah. Know, uh, and you can go as hard as you want with me. I, I really don't care. Yeah, uh, it's true, you can. He's got headshots. Do piss me off if I think you're doing them on purpose. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, kind of. I, I don't mind the rough and tumble. But there are people who are like daisies. Do you see what yeah. I mean? And, and they don't like fighting. They, they yeah. really don't like it. But I think it, it does. It's an interesting question you throw about being massively evil as a character, um, because I think you know. There's a part of me that kind of thinks that people do it, and it's almost like a, a, a trait that you you start to see of their of their actual character. Dare I say? Of their of their, of their, could... of their real persona. Yeah, yeah, the real persona. Yeah, the real the yeah. real you. Now, yeah. boy, I've played evil characters so many times now. <laughs> <laughs> well, we all know about you, Rob. <laughs> um, yeah, that's why you know kind of the way you are, really. Um, that's why you've got to sell it to your shed. <laughs> it goes down two stories. We've all, we've Everyone's all got a cellar. You can hear them screaming. We yeah. so, sorry, every single one of us here has got a lockable cellar. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you've been drilling yours out today. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got to, I've, I've I've got to drill down a bit further now because the sounds yeah. are getting through. So <laughs> <laughs> the screams. Yeah, yeah, it's true that is. But, but I do uh, think. I mean, um, do you do you uh, did you feel very uncomfortable with that? Then, Tom, would you? No, I didn't feel uncomfortable about it because they told me what was going to happen beforehand. Yeah. They said, "You are you okay with this?" I said, "Yep, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. fine with it. I'll yeah. do what I need to do." Um, yeah. I don't think it was. I don't. Th the, the The act wasn't. It was just violent. That's all, and mm -hmm. it, it wasn't like ridiculously violent. It was just basically kind of like you know it. it they were just, I mean, and it didn't hurt at all because obviously what they were using was fine and they weren't swinging full yeah. thing. Um, mm. But uh, I was okay, but I do think there should be limits. It's I interesting. Think, yeah. Particularly well, with sensitive subjects. Yeah. Well, 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 no, I, I, yeah. I, I, I am going to disagree. I'm going to completely yeah. disagree with that. Um, it, 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 that is down to the group. That is down to the group playing it, right? Uh, if you're willing to you know, really use it as a social experiment to see how far uh, people will go, you know, before they go, <laughs> you know, the stop now, you know, let's let's use the mm. safe word uh, type thing. Um, mm. Then that that should be purely up to that particular group. Yep. Now, yep. I mean, we we know and, 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 and we've seen LARPs where the the subject matter is horrific. Okay, yeah. Agreed. Agreed. you know, yeah. and, and in fact, they have to they have to bring in um, like, like a psychology counselor in the beginning and at the end. Mm -hmm. Right. Because it's so immersive. It's so full on. And that subject matter is, is really explored. Mm -hmm. Right. And if that group is willing to do that and then come out at the other end, you know, with the you know experience and perhaps more information because don't forget you know a lot of these laps are used by by these these people to find out you know is it possible to push the human psyche to the point where it'll go this is acceptable yeah i don't think i'd ever want to find out yeah, no, you, I, you you I, may I, not yeah, you yeah may not. no no i'm assuring you if a group and i think 
play, play this must be disclosed before the game starts. Well, yeah, we, we are going to try something. You may find this disturbing. We are going to push beyond the normal limits and what you may expect from a lap. Yeah, if, everybody consents to that, and there's some kind of safeguarding in place. Uh, Jamie has said as, as, as long as they make it clear up front. Oh, that's yeah. completely, yeah. Yeah. Because you can't expect to go to go, be like a fantasy LARPer who's used to a hitty high combat game, not much moral ambiguity, nothing too intense, and then yeah. to the think where, yeah, you're going to be pushed personally, and as a character, both personally, sort of physically or psychologically, you've got to know you're yeah. getting into before you start. Yeah, well, I think we're, 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 we're the, the subject matter. matter. Yeah. And using yeah. the feather is is romantic. Using the chicken, now that's kinky. Just kinky. Yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, re realistically, I think you, you do have to. It does have to be consensual. I, I understand where Thomas is coming from, though, because yeah. I think that if especially if you were relatively new to that and you didn't know what questions to ask or what you were going to be expecting, or well, they hadn't actually made people yeah. you know, up front very clear about what what could potentially happen and where the story could go. I think that that is disastrous. And I think that's what happened at that moment. I, think I won't mention any is a very dangerous thing. Yeah, it? It, it could be. Because mm. bear in mind that there is still stereotypically, and I think it's very wrong that it is there, uh, uh, quite a sexual connotation to an awful lot of laughing. Um, and, and I think it's wrong that it's there because I think yeah. it means everything that we do. But I could certainly see why people could see it like that. I've, from um, all the laps that I've gone to, I yeah. don't think I've seen a single piece of sexual thing through all of them. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't think I've seen one. No, that's wrong, Kez. There's always <laughs> something, there's always something <laughs> going up someone's ass. Yeah, yeah. Someone is always getting something wrong. But that's the limit. Yeah. yeah. But you, you can certainly see that, can't you? I mean, I, I mean, I always remember going to the one um, gathering and the, the, they had the uh, Valkyrie. Uh, and they were a group of models. I'm absolutely convinced of it. Purely there, just to Italian. You know, kind of, they were, they, I mean, they were beautiful. Don't get me yeah. wrong, but they were, you know, kind of. They, they weren't really role players. Yeah. yeah. Um, so from that point of view, there was that connotation, and it kind of got a bit boring after a while. To be honest with you, you know, because you're sitting there going, "What are you doing?" You know, that you no one could, you know, not, do anything. <laughs> not <laughs> no for me. Breathe. Not, not for, for me. We had to sit still around a while. Um, but it was, it was, and, and I think in the end, I think most people felt a little bit uncomfortable by just by them being there because it was just so overtly why they were there. Except for Stuart. Yeah. Except for Stuart. Uh, I was completely fine with it. You were fine with it. Yeah. 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 But I mean, I suppose that's like uh, most stories, though, isn't it? That you could, if you desired, you could take it to. Yeah lots of different levels um you know and i think the conversation could go i mean coming back to what we were originally talking about the conversation could get to a stage where someone could feel quite uncomfortable about the subject mm. matter they were talking about and uh, I think yeah it could, uh, you know get yeah uh, okay yeah, I'll, you know let's let's make a a, a kind of a an, addend <clears throat> an addendum to this then is the sheer fact those types of laps are usually commissioned laps by either psychology students or what have you and mm -hmm. they are and they are looking for you know a particular thing a particular reason a particular mindset you know whatever you know you're all got blurry um that that you know they are, they are looking to see what the outcome will be mm -hmm. you know so yeah. you know as, that's, you that's, know for, yeah, for, for a paper a for a, yeah. you know for yeah. a paper but it is it is made very clear up front that this is what is going to happen if you're not happy to be pushed to the extreme on this particular subject matter don't attend mm. you know just yeah. don't attend um yeah. but but on the whole yeah most larps are happy go lucky fr uh, friendly beat each other up with different things shoot each other with different things and some yeah. dialogue and some drinking you know and that's just the kids yeah 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 yeah, yeah. you know yeah. Certainly, you you're two anyway. I mean, just oh, two. terrible. Yeah. <laughs> on me. You're two. Look, I've got two words to say. Well, you're two. Look, fear me. Yeah. Fear me. Yeah. Fear me. Yeah. She does have that factor. She's yeah. getting cocky now as well. Now she's ten. Yeah. yeah. On twenty-seven. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is she really on ten? She, she's yeah. ten. Like she's like twenty. Yeah. <laughs> she <doesn't laughs> <want to> <laughs> <access> <laughs> her thing. Um, she was never going to be normal, Tom. That, that was one thing that we could Katie, Katie was the same, Tom. Katie yeah. was the same. Yeah, yeah. yeah. she yeah. was. Yeah. She's grown up all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's not crazy at all. No. On <laughs> 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 a stew crazy scale. <laughs> <laughs> Which has no filter. Yeah. <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? She is exactly like me. She doesn't have a filter <laughs> no. either. 
<laughs> like, she she's she's just <laughs> she's, she's just a little better at hiding it than I am. That's all. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. but I mean, when us two are together, oh good god. Uh, 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 uh. you know when when we when we're walking in Abergavenny and what have you you know because that's where she lives we'll go and get some lunch or what have you um oh we're, we're merciless we're absolutely merciless with people that are around us who actually think that we're not dad and daughter that we're we're husband and wife <laughs> so we'll play on it stuff oh. it why not yeah, oh, we do. Yeah. Oh, we do because true. not because, with your daughter. Because we love, we love the looks. We love the looks yes. of. We love the the look that Luke just gave us. In mm, that's not right. Yeah, that's know? not. Right. So we play on it. I mean, it's not like we snog or anything. We just hold hands. Now you've stopped, we, stopped doing that. Stopped doing that. Yeah. You know, um, uh, you know <laughs> after, see how long it takes after, before Thomas goes sick. You know, after a mother said, "Stop that." But apart from stop. that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> You know, we we just hold hands like dad and daughter because you know we're not we're not we're not afraid of of uh, public shows of affection or whatever it's called, because um, yeah. we quite enjoy each other's company. You know, oh, that's nice. You know, I, tell you, I do love role playing. I mean, I I can't wait to uh, role play with Easy and Charlie because mm. they're grown up to be their own little characters and they're they're two yeah. very very different people. And Charlie's just as relaxed as you can possibly ever get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy's yeah. completely hyper. <laughs> Um, and you know, uh, and and I want to know what role playing is going to do for for them, you know, kind of oh, yeah. to meet them as monsters, to to start to engage with them as different characters, which I think he's, he's going to absolutely adore. Yeah, he, he's going to be, you know, one to to watch and maybe run away from. Yeah, 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 definitely run away. Yeah, run away. Yeah, run away. Have we have we got anything else to talk about? No, I think we're done. I think, no, I think that's it, yeah. yeah we're done. We'll 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 today on the, uh... Uh, I mean, if Jamie wants to send some uh, LARP gear our way, we can review it, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're, oh, we're happy. Oh, we're happy. Do anything, Jamie, yeah. You bunch of... We're happy. Happy I... to review it. Shamelessly sell out. I'm f- happy to... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very uh, happy. Um, yeah. And if, if anybody needs some LARPs being photographed, reviewed, talked about... Yeah, we are more than happy for the. Uh... Yeah, 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 just, just, just send them in lapbookshow at gmail dot com. You know, we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll pick them up. I mean, we did have a message today on 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 Facebook actually. Oh, so yeah, like, let's, someone, talk, let's talk about that second. Someone, well, it's, it's 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 not really a, a talk. It's more of a more of a, a kind of a thing. There's a little bit of a trend going on at the moment. Um, I can't remember the gentleman's name, unfortunately. Robert, I don't know whether or not you can drag that up for me. I will drag it for you right now. Charles. But you mentioned LARP, LARP Haven. Uh, yeah. Place. Yeah, it's it's basically uh, on Facebook on a LARP Haven. Uh, somebody started. Uh, doing the, uh, the a, a picture of you in your outfit, and basically you are asking people to roast them, right? Mm-hmm. You know, literally, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, 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 it's it's kind of become a bit, little bit of a meme uh, going on there, as in like you know, right? Here's my kit, roast away. Um, okay. You know, you know and, was the, the name. It's Mr. Derek Helms. Derek Helms. There you go. Thank you. So thank you. When- when you say roasting, what's actually happening? As in, you, you know, going, going, you know, go, you, you know, ver- well, verbally roast, you know, well, type, typingly roast, yeah. I suppose. Right. But, okay. You know, right. you know, as, as in, you know, I think that outfit's a bit gay. Uh, maybe, maybe yeah. if you splashed more pink, it would be better. That sort I mean, of thing. That could be gay, isn't a roast? That's you know, well done. You know, they're, yeah. they're, they're all, you know, they're all great. They dress nicely and everything. They yeah. <laughs> they're all yeah. fabulous. They're all um, fabulous. Yeah. The uh, yeah, so so there is there is kind of a thing right now where they're just going, you know, and and only people are putting up that want to be roasted. Obviously, you know, yeah, it's That's like fine. Yeah, it's in the title. Go ahead, roast me. Yeah, um, yeah you kind of yeah. know what it is. You they're, they're not just your yeah, they're not just uh, you know being mean spirited. I hope it's the just it. it, and they're not going to do actual physical features of the person there. No, no, it's all mm. costume, and it's all I people hope it's being... just costume. It is, yeah, yeah. Well, right. I mean, I mean, even 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 then, right? You know, if I said to Luke, "Go on, then, fat boy, roast me," right? Uh, I know, I know that that he'll bring everything to bear. Right? That's different. My though. looks, my costume, you know, my my gender no equality, problem. whatever. He'll, you know, he'll 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 bring it all. It's in. all coming your way. Yeah, yeah, yeah and, okay. and that's just a regular conversation between you. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, but but some, people, but some people would actually deserve that. I mean, I'm not going to mention any names or systems here. Okay, just... <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> we, there was once a, 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 a gentleman playing who, how can I put this, was not small, but he was very round. <laughs> very, very round. Yeah. Who claimed that he was playing a special forces agent at the peak of his physical capability, uh, and he was and he was actually wearing his fat suit for the whole game. That's, that's good. <laughs> that's brilliant. Can I just say, Jamie started the roast. By the way, he's sat there gone. Uh, as in costume is great, Tom, but the beard is getting a bit like Captain Bird's eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, you've been burnt now, my friend. I've got to shave now. Well, no, 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 Tom. Just get the curlers in, Tom. Get the curlers in. No, 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 no. You know, sorry, but no, that's just made me like him even more. Because I love, I love fish fingers. Who doesn't love fish fingers? So, so you know, I'm, I'm sorry. That is not a roast at all. Unless you're talking about roasting fish fingers, I've done that, and that's quite nice as well. Yeah, but they're better grilled. They are. Mm, yeah. yeah, yeah. So uh, I remember him his tactical bodysuit. Yes, that's true. Um, yes. So, oh yeah. So we could do this. We could do this. We could all get a photograph of us in um, in in armor of some kind to be roasted, and we'll start the roasting. <laughs> I what don't... about that? Do you yeah. really want the, to... the problem? Is I only the only armor <laughs> I have <laughs> is the armor this. I wear, and yeah. I'm like. I want this to look good. <laughs> so well, if we've you guys got, just roast the living hell out of it, it's going to be... You're just going to get both barrels, Tom. You've got to accept it, all right? It's coming your way. Uh, and I certainly hope you're going to give as good as you get. <laughs> Fine. We'll 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 chuck this up on, on Facebook or something at some point. Let's do that. Uh, and what have yeah. you. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm, you sure, I'm sure there's, there's some pictures somewhere in an old album. Uh, of me I've got something. one of you. I bet you have. Maybe I shouldn't yeah. show that one though. Well, you know, I'm not bothered. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the court case is done now, so yeah, it doesn't matter. You paid the compensation, yeah. haven't you? So yeah, it's all right. It doesn't, um, it doesn't matter anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, then. I I think we'll probably leave it there. So uh, you know, just for sanity's sake. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'd just like to, again say, you know. A huge thank you to all of the, our lovely patrons that really yeah. make it a bit easier to keep this show going. Without you, you know, we couldn't sort of pay for the hosting of the podcast and little bits and pieces that I, I managed to get hold to try and do the outside stuff a bit better. Yeah. So it really does help. So if you think you can afford to contribute just a dollar a month, just head across to patreon.com forward slash LARP book. Yeah. And, and just subscribe uh i think you obviously get different posts as well that we put out uh when i say we i mean rob uh, there is a monthly newsletter for for, for patrons it's sometimes a little draggy and it's really scheduled but there is always something yeah yeah there is always something um and you know uh depending on different levels well i, I do believe there's still some perks up there as well like dice oh, no, no, no. if you spend enough there are t-shirts and hoodies up, up for grabs yeah, exactly, exactly. So, you know, it, it all, it, it, it just really, really, really helps us out. And if you don't think you can do that, the other way you can help out is to, well, tell people about us. Get them to yeah. come across this. There's, there's now, what, about th two or three years worth of shows that they can go back and listen to and watch. So it's, it's not short of content anymore, uh, mm -hmm. you know, in, in that respect. So it's, it's definitely value for money if you look at it that way. So just tell people about us, all we ask. Um, and that's about it, really. So on that sort of thing. Uh, so if you'd like to get in contact with the show, email LARPbookshow at gmail.com. That's LARPbookshow at gmail.com. What are you giggling at now? Jamie is saying those microphones don't buy themselves. <laughs> those massive microphones. They really don't. They really no. do. No, they, yeah. they are not self-purchasing microphones. Either. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. And Sorry, please do carry on, uh, Stuart. I was very rude. I was just gaming. He just brings out the worst in me all the time. Yeah, I, oh, definitely. <laughs> um, so uh, yeah. if there's a topic you would like us to discuss or something cool you saw or fancy writing an article for the website, then just email the show, LARP oh, book oh, show. That reminds me, there's one thing I need to do. Gmail. <laughs> And that is to say, Alexa, buy a Luca microphone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've got me blue Nessie here. Yeah. You kidding? Which we're not 100% sure you're using, but all right. <laughs> it's definitely being used, you know. 
<laughs> Sorry, Stu. Please complete the credits and uh, my apologies. Sir. I couldn't <laughs> it's, not a, this. It's, not, it's not a problem at all. Right, music was provided by Ben Sound of bensound.com. As I said, go across to Patreon, patreon.com forward slash LARPbook and help out the show. Uh, we do have a shop that's now actually hosted up on LARPbook itself, so you can see wonderful things that we do there. So get your swag. Uh, you can listen to the podcast, iTunes, Stitcher, YouTube, Twitch, Podbean. Just search for LARPbook in whatever you use to get to your podcast, and you'll find us. Uh, again, the email is larpbookshow at gmail.com. The website is www.larpbook.com. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Just search for LARPbook. There's a theme running here. Don't forget to give us a five-star review on iTunes or anything else that you actually use. If they allow reviews, just put a review. And if you have done, let us know as well so we can link to it. That would be fabulous. So yeah, we just... Um, I'll give you a shout-out as well. And yeah, yeah. So, you want. so that's Go it on. for the show. Uh, I've been Stuart. That's Luke. That's Rob. That's Tom. Say goodnight, everybody. Good night. Good night, everybody. Ha, ha, ha.